I'm gonna pull some cards and see what messages do we have. <coughs> Someone here that has been holding back from approaching you, talking to you, they're finally going to make that move. Now, I fucking hate these messages because I know how annoying it is to hear someone say, oh, they're coming, they're coming, and you're fucking waiting. Now, I, I know, I know, I fucking hate giving these messages, but that's what we're getting, okay? They're coming towards you. You're showing up as the king and the queen of wands. So, it's like this person is realizing that, that the connection that they have with you is a power couple. And they have been contemplating, thinking, nom, nom, nom. Are you with the one? Am I imagining things? Is this worth the worth the worth worth the investment? Is this going to be a waste of time? Ta 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 ta. Thinking, thinking, thinking. But they're coming. They're approaching you. I feel like they are. They have been going through um, tough time that you are not aware of, and you think that this person could be not interested in you. It's not you. It's them. You know when people say, it's me, it's not you. It's it's not you, it's them. Okay? I'm giving you that confirmation. It's not you, it's them. So, <coughs> even though it seems like this connection may be taking too long or you are like, you know, slightly giving up on it. You know, sometimes good things take a long time. Yeah, you know, I feel like by the time they are ready to come towards you, you are like, nah, I'm good. I already gave up on this. Bye. I do feel that. But, I mean, here's the thing. I'm not going to tell you to wait. Because I know that's a pain in the ass to even hear it from someone. Especially tarot readings. I get you. I get you. They're coming, they're coming. But it, it's a fucking turn off. You know what I mean? Like, you should have come yesterday, not not today. I get it. I get it. So, I'm not telling you to wait. But, if you... Yes? What do you want? But... What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Hang on, let this fucker go away. He's kind of cute. Eccentrically cute. He had like one eye shot. <laughs> I don't know if he was punched in the face. <laughs> but you know, sometimes people have that, uh, you know, like a little lazy eye. <laughs> he had that. <laughs> Your girl is thirsty. All right. Anyways, so what was I saying? I'm not asking you to wait for this person. I'm telling you, if you find it within your heart that this connection is worth the wait if you have been waiting for a while and you're like you know what i don't mind waiting a little bit more let me see how soon this person is going to move towards you Ugh. you know like this motherfucker is dumb or something because why are they taking so long like they know that you are the one but at the same time they're dragging their fucking feet like if I knew who this person is I'll be like knocking their door and dragging them from their collar and be like come on come on come on you slow little fucker come on let's go see your loved one <laughs> which is you <laughs> uh, you know what I mean like what's the wait for if you know that you know someone is your person why the fuck are you waiting 
You know that guy? <laughs> it's like, go. Go. Go and make a move. Have you attempted to make a move? Yes. They know how you feel. They know how you feel. They know how you feel. Mm, you know, here's the thing. That I'm going to say this in the defense of this slow motherfucker that is moving towards you. They have had like a nasty past. So they are almost like traumatized. Now, I'm not saying that this person hasn't healed, but they are definitely dragging their feet to enter anything new. Because, you know, if, if you get bit by a snake, for example, you will find it very hard to go to the forest without being paranoid about being bit again. So this person is finding it hard to enter the love scene or relationships without the thought lingering that oh, I'm gonna hurt myself, I'm gonna fall and trip and break my heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, understandably, I mean, I don't know any person that hasn't had their heart broken. But some people heal, heal faster than others. And this, this motherfucker is not healing fast. I feel like you've been waiting for a while. I'm sensing that it's more than six months. Uh, yeah, I'm getting like some of you are waiting six months and more. I don't know, man. Like, if you have been waiting that long... I mean, I say this, but I have done that before. And I've waited for years, so... <laughs> I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it because you know what? By the time the person approaches you, your mentality has changed. Your emotional tolerance has changed. I don't think that you will be happy to receive this person after a year. So if you've been, if you've been waiting more than six months, I feel like the, the likelihood of you wanting this is very slim. Because if it takes this long of a time to be with a person, it's like you will always fucking resent them for wasting such a long time for you to wait. Does that make sense? So you will resent them for making you wait this long, I feel. Hang on, another fucking car. Ugh, electric car. Ugh, ew. It's weird, I've seen this car before. It's almost like a, and it's the same car, same couple. It's almost like a deja vu. And they parked in the same spot. <laughs> and I'm parked in the same spot as well. It's a beautiful day. I'm making small talk with the camera like a friggin' psycho. It's a beautiful day. I would show you, but uh, I can't reverse my camera, can I? <coughs> no, I don't think I can. Anyway, so what should you do in regard to this person? Hang on. I want to see, should you wait or should you go? Da -na 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 -na. Is that like a song? Should I wait or should you go? Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> People think that the cards are like spirits. <laughs> Bitch, it's, a, it's, it's paper. Anyways, I'm getting off the topic too much. I don't know what the fuck. Maybe I'm trying to entertain you because you are waiting and slowly freaking... Uh, dying, waiting for this fucking person to make a move. 
And uh, let me see if you should wait for this person. Should you wait? <laughs> Fuck yes! Oh, I'm annoyed at this message. But hey. <laughs> I mean, you get what you get. I can't really fucking... Okay, let's pull another. Should you wait? And I'm gonna shuffle this time. I'm not gonna split the deck. Should you wait? Should you fucking wait for this person to make a move? <laughs> this is a yes card. And no less than the Knight of Cups, which is someone that is going to make a move. So basically, this is telling you, yes, they will make a move. Don't fucking give up right now. Because you're so close to be with this person forever and ever. You will be happily ever after. They will make a move. They will make a move. Sit your ass down. Don't go anywhere. Well, I mean, I tried. I tried. I tried. But, you know, the message is the message. So, I tried to see and steer away from the waiting. But, hey, you know, you're supposed to wait. So whoever and whatever this connection is, it's worth the wait. Sometimes it takes longer than expected. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, can you fucking change it? Uh, ah, I got like a little shiver. You know, it is what it is. So I'm going to leave this here. I feel like you and this person are meant to be. And it's, it's, you know, you've been waiting for a while. So what's another couple of months, huh? I don't recommend waiting for more than a year. Honestly. Take my word for it. That's what I have for you. Best of luck. <laughs>